Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have another terminal imager, also very high resolution, 192 by uh, 256. And so it is, I expect a good quality. Already a few videos back I had the Infiray P2 Pro and it was kind of small. And I checked their website and their background is from hunting night visions. And things like that but today i have another one from top don and this this is the tc view tc002 there is also a 001 that is for android this is the 002 for apple and uh, the background from uh, top don if i look at the website is from automotive and they have uh, obd2 diagnose tools uh, jump starters and things like that they are in in electronics of cars so i also expect that it is maybe a little bit more uh, well, stronger i'm not saying that uh, that the infiray was was weak but it is kind of small and yeah made for kind of the smaller hands while i think the top down maybe is also for the bigger ends because of their automotive uh, background so let's have a closer look so the tc view top down the tc 002 for iphone ios i think you need ios 7 or up it needs to have a lighting lightning port uh, it is 256 by 192, so it is pretty high resolution. We've seen with the uh, Infiray that it makes a huge difference to have this proper resolution. I think the refresh rate is also 25 or higher, so that also makes a huge uh, difference. Temperature minus 20 Celsius up to 550 Celsius or minus 4 up to 1022 in Fahrenheit. It has also a temperature over alarm, uh, yeah, kind of like the Infiray. And we can customize the image colors. Well, the box looks nice, but the box is just a box. And okay, this is what I like proper between what we have here the manual well they understand <laughs> people don't read the manual but if you put six pictures on a piece of paper people will probably have a look at it and indeed I am um, yeah they say here our oh, iOS 11 or up iPhone 7. Well, my backup phone is an iPhone 7, so that is perfect. Uh, go to the App Store, search for TC002. Well, we're going to do that. And if you want a proper manual, you scan the code and then you can download it. And where is our image? Here it is. Yes, indeed. It is a bit stronger. <laughs> Look at it. It is, uh, it is bigger than the Infiray for sure. But I think that is good for the bigger hands. And it even comes with an extension cable. That is kind of cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, this goes in the phone. And this just goes on the imager. And that is perfect if you need to go behind somewhere or really have a look in another position. That is smart. Okay. Does it fit on the phone if it has a cover on it? Okay, my backup phone. It has protection. I always do that. I don't use screen protectors because I like the screen to respond well and yeah I'm protecting the phone just try to be nice with it but when it falls you need these bumpers so but that means there is a little bit of space here and is the plug long enough yes it is
try that is not a problem. It detects already. Oh, it starts immediately the apple also. It is calibrating. We also saw the same with uh, with the infrared. It seems a little bit faster. Yeah, the resolution is great. Look at this. Yeah, and a little freeze every now and then. The infrared yet the same. I think every 30 seconds it needed to re recalibrate, and then you had a little freeze. Yeah, it's happening the same here. I think it has a min max temperature as well. And it just picks the highest and the lowest, and of course the middle where you're actually pointing. Wow, this resolution is cool. What else we can do? We can make a snapshot, I think. It has some nice options also, and for instance, it has a temperature monitoring. You can monitor a certain device and keep track of it. Okay, now I can go to temperature monitoring, and then I say, okay, let's a dot. We do the dot, then I need to select the area to. Yeah, okay, monitor my fingertips. Yeah, then I will uh, start the recording and it starts to record. We can see the line. But then if I move it here to a colder or warmer spot, we can see that it changes. And now, of course, I'm losing the, the finger and then you see the temperature go down. And if I point again to the finger, it goes up. And then you have tracked the whole temperature going up and down. Pretty cool. I had some more questions about uh, different surfaces last time. And here we have a temperature correction. And there is this emissivity. So how much emission a certain surface does. And usually the default is uh, 0.95. And here we can see why, because a wet soil is like 0.95, a finger would be so. But if we have glass, there is less reflection. And here we have different values, like skin. That's why the temperature of the skin is usually not precise, because the default is 95. And here we have the skin, it should be 98. But if you, for instance, here is wood, it's 0.87. So you need this temperature correction because it just reflects the light less good or light temperature. So night vision is actually pretty good. I could see exactly where I needed to walk in my lab with the lights uh, off. That was uh, amazing. And the, the power supply was really like it was lava, lava hot. So that was kind of cool. But uh, let me kind of do the same test as I did with, uh, with the infrared and just heat up the resistors and let's see what it does. But the resolution and the refresh rates are exactly the same. So I, I don't expect a huge difference uh, there, but uh, let's have a look. So what I will do is just switch on the power supply. Now it is in the lower setting, it's just one amp, so they slowly will heat. And then I can add some resistance, or I actually lower the resistance. And then it's two amps, then the other two heat, and then three amps, then only two heat, and then 
now it's all in parallel. I hope new. Okay, let's do this test. So that was a quick test. Um, yeah, if I compare it to the Inv-Ray, I, I like that it is a little bit bigger. So if your hands are a little bit more rough, then you can still handle it. Well, with the Inv-Ray, it's really small and you will lose it probably also because it's so small. Quality-wise, they are more or less the same. I really didn't see too much of a difference. So, well, as expected, the test compared to the Infuray, because it has the same resolutions, they are very, very similar. I really didn't notice too much which one I was using. The Infuray does have a micro lens if you buy it extra. I haven't seen that with, uh, with the top down, but it depends what you use it for. If you, if you don't use for electronics, but exactly for cars or like I did with the night vision or just the power supply, just the bigger areas, because it can work starting already from 20 centimeters up to 20 meters, I even think. So in, in that sense, it is good. And I like it is bigger because if you have a little bit bigger hands, my hands are, are women like almost, so I can work with a, with a smaller one. But if your hands are a bit rougher, I think it's great to have a bigger one. And it's probably a little bit stronger and you don't lose it that fast. And it comes in a very nice casing also, instead of just a little bag. And they even have a little cleaning cloth. So you don't use the wrong material because it just gives you the proper cloth. And the extension cable is also a great idea. And maybe that is because it is a little bit bigger that you want to maneuver it differently and then the cable comes very in handy. It is a pity that the software doesn't allow, well, at least the version I have now, I think it was version 201 of the software, the latest I downloaded. Uh, I couldn't flip the image and with the inferior you could do that. And But that is maybe just a software track. They can build it in easily. And then I think it would be perfect. Thank you for watching and I uh, hope to see you next time.